Oh, it, it, it definitely is. It definitely is. And, and you know what? I, I, I noticed this. Um, cause I, I saw what saw, saw something pop up in my memories and I, I shared it on, on Facebook and Instagram. Um, but uh -huh. <clears throat> this was 2014 when I had my, con I had one of my constitutional rights violated. I was constitutionalist at the time, uh, you know, ranted by it on Facebook, similar story. Well, back then when I was, um, I guess, yeah, back then four or five years ago, I mean, and granted it, it was Obama was in office, right? So obviously the Republicans cared about the constitution then. So I guess it makes sense. Um, well, <laughs> Yeah, at that time, anything like the Constitution, Bill of Rights, you know, it was always brought up. Like anything that was done, it was it was always it was always something that that I saw brought up often. Now I haven't like everything just moved so quickly. I mean, I didn't bring up you know like oh this is a violation of whatever right mm -hmm. like I, like I just know like like we could see the direction it was going. Um, but yeah, this time, really, there's no way they could have done this with it with a Democratic president. Do you really think that all of those Republicans would have, would have stopped going to work? The uh, especially like that puritanical work ethic from 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 those on the uh, like that that kind of stem from that that sort of mindset. Do you really think they would have listened? They would have listened to Obama telling them not to go to work. That lazy, no good piece of shit. <laughs> no, they would not have listened. And do you, and and who better? Send it, and send who it better, people checks. That's socialism. And who better th than to bring <laughs> than to bring this massive you know international um, combination of government and business together than someone who's been a businessman his entire life. Um, it just, I, I, I don't know, man, like this yeah, is, he's the, he's the, he's, no, he is, he really is, he is the great appeaser, like, what happened to the militia movement, like, remember all those people talk, you know, training in the woods and getting ready and all the three percenter talk and then Trump gets into office, yep. poof, where are they, yeah, where are they at? And I'll and I'll tell you what, um, like the the activity that like and this was uh, uh, the activity that I was involved in, you know, with the, with the Patriots, with the Menarchists, um, up until I guess yeah, up until up until Trump, um, you know, they were doing, um, you know, they were doing the Malheur Wildlife Wildlife Refuge standoff. They were doing, you know, the Bundy Ranch, the Bunkerville. They were doing, they were civil defiance against the state. They were wielding weapons and taking over, you know, mm -hmm. public so called public land. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, they aren't now, doing. They aren't now, doing now that anymore. On, Where yeah. the hell are they now? And this is this was my theory. Yeah, from now, the very, this now, was my theory yeah. from the very. I've, I've said mm -hmm. it. I've said it a handful of times that there there was nothing better for the state than the election of Donald Trump because the entire yep. right, the entire right wing, this these radical patriots that were doing shit, they are pacified. And now all the shit that's going on, there is no resistance whatsoever. <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> they they. They've turned on Ammon Bundy because he doesn't believe in building a wall. Like Ammon Bundy, right? The the, the Bundy the, the standoff, you know, at, at the ranch and the Melody Wildlife Refuge, that was Ammon Bundy. They turned on him because he's not towing the line with Donald Trump. 